Hello everybody and welcome back to season 38 of the Pokemon Cup series. Today we're here at North Wilkesboro Speedway for the running of the Pokemon the series Sun and Moon Ultra Legends 400. It is the first race of the third round of the playoffs and our field will be down to eight drivers competing for four spots to Zen Joltus for the championship. On the pole will be the 17 of Jonathan Fast and Maxwell Smart of the 20 will start on his outside. And then row two, we have the 22 Brad Cheston and the 15 event Tracy Battle going to be in the 16 for today's race. Chase Wisted in the nine and Chen Z in the three in row three. And rounding out the playoff field are Anthony Lopez and Anthony then. Those are the eight drivers remaining that all battle out for the chance to compete for the championship. And here's the rest of the field and their retro paint schemes they'll be running in today's race. It is another day of retro schemes here in North Wilkesboro. Some of them you've seen before and the others you uh, probably have not. So it's always fun to see these retro paint schemes once again run at North Wilkesboro. And now without further ado, let's take you trackside for the command to fire the engines up. And the cars roll off the track. Here we go, folks. It's going to be a 40 lap race at North Wilkesboro. Only eight drivers left competing for four spots into the championship. It's only going to get tougher from here. We'll see what happens here in the, in the short track at North Wilkesboro, which is sure going to be an exciting race here today. Here we go to the green. We're underway. Three wide battle already. And look at Van Tracy battle. Look at him go. Gets the run and gets the lead. Still three wide. These drivers trying to hang on for dear life now. All trying to get those precious points. And in the second place is now Maxwell Smart. Look at Anthony then though. Trying to get third spot. And he does. He makes the move. He gets it. Looked like that 20 was going to go low there for a second, but decided not to pull the move. And they're side by side going into turns three. Chen Z moves up. He takes the spot away. And ooh, they're still getting real loose. Three wide, still battling in. Now they're still now this now this is a battle right here. Oh, now they're loose and one car is spun. That is Philip Goldberg in the 47. He'll bring out the caution. The 47 car got turned, and that's for the first caution of the race. See, here's another view of that wreck. There you see the 47 getting hit by the 38 of Eli Bright, and entering turn three, and. Thankfully, though, nobody else really had some damage other than Daniel Price and possibly Nathan Alvarez. So the leader is Van Tracy Battle. The 20 car has chosen to pit. A handful of cars will pit under this caution period. We'll see how their we'll see if their strategy is going to work to their advantage. All right, so they're going to pit early, and that means that Anthony then is going to be up to second place. No cars are out of the race yet. So North Wilkesboro is still running like it should. With all the cars running, all competing for those precious points to move on into the championship four at Zen Joltis. Let's see if Van Tracy Battle can hold on to the lead when we get back to the green. And again, riding in the 16 car today instead of his usual 15 because it is another retro weekend here at North Wilkesboro. The other retro week in Darlington, he was also in the 16. And now we're back to green. And I think Van Tracy will be back in the 15 next weekend over at Watkins Glen. Didn't waste any more time for another caution to come out. Anthony then, though, going to try to take the lead. Racing to the line. And it looks like he might have 
taking the lead, and one car just went around, crossing the star finish line, and that was Steve Morgan, and he gets turned around, and Anthony then just took the lead under yellow, on a desperate move, the caution came out right in time, he makes the move work, and there's the spin Steve Morgan got hit from, as uh, he as he was uh, racing back to the caution, he made contact from behind, and caused the wreck. And here's the caution that really happened. It was moments after the green flag waved. As Christian Vargas made contact with Chen Z, Toby Smith, and Cassidy Reynolds. They got caught up in a, in a chaotic restart. And that's what brought out the caution. And look at this battle between the uh, two drivers. And there you see, barely Anthony then was able to beat out the 16 car. And now there's a log jam. Now there's a jam. It looks like the 37 has chosen to pin under caution. So it doesn't matter about the jam. It looks like um, we'll see how this field is going to reorganize here. But Anthony then though, he's going to be pitting out of the lead. Hmm. More cars have chosen to pit. Toby Smith stays out, but he is a... Um, a lap down so who's the leader now oh wow they're lapping cars again oh shoot I knew I had a feeling this was gonna happen with the traffic and now 13 cars left on the um, lead lap we're green again and another caution just came out Eli Bright got hit from behind and Anthony then leads in a Covenant spot and he is just ahead of second place by a lot. And I, I, I had a feeling that something like this was going to happen, you know. The cars were not set up and they were going to get lapped. A little bit of an error there. And now more cars are out of the race. Now nine cars are left on the lead lap. Oh man, this is not going pretty. We're going green again. Anthony then leads and Mark Wallace is just trying to get back on the lead lap. He will get that lap back by passing the 37. Only 10 cars now are on the lead lap. Another car trying to get back on the lead lap. Alexander Rowe right now sitting behind the 37. And he's going to have to pit. He has some damage and looks like he's not going to get the lap back. Derek Hamill. Is all in the in probably going to move up to the tenth spot, trying to get by the thirty-seven and take the lead away. Well, not as good as I thought it would be. I, I had a feeling this something like this was going to happen, but yikes! Uh oh, caution's out again. It looks like Hamill's going to get his lap back before the caution, so he barely gets the lap back. Ten cars are back on the lead lap. And who's second, by the way? It was three seconds behind. It was Zach Delello. How is this even happening? That's so weird. Why does this keep happening? I mean, I have no clue. I'm sorry that the North Wolfsboro race is turning out to be a disaster. But, yeah, I had no idea that something like this was going to happen. We're going to the green again. Well, looks like Anthony then might have himself an easy road ahead of him to the championship four if he can hang on and not mess this up. And the other cars behind him all just trying to get back on the lead lap with 10 laps to go. I mean, this is just a disaster. A disastrous run here at North Wilkesboro. It started off promising early on and then... When that caution came out and everybody was just falling behind, it just went downhill from there. Now Stilstos is trying to get his lap back. Oh, he's loose. Too loose there. I mean, he was really trying to get his lap back, but he just got way too loose. Eight laps to go for Anthony then, though, in a disastrous race at North Wilkesboro. And second place is really far behind. Half a second and a half. Delello is from the lead. And he's got to get through these uh, lap cars first. Very tough to do here with um, seven to go. And he, again, needs a miracle. Three wide right in front of him. 
Not helping him, not helping the cause out. Gonna go through. DeLillo gets to the bottom lane, trying to get the 88. In the lap traffic, but still a long ways away from the 37 car. Only six laps remain at North Wilkesboro. And it continues um, to be a messy race here. If 37 pits, though, the door is left wide open for all these cars to get the victory. And all the cars, by the way, to get back on the lead lap as Austin Stitzel's back on the lead lap. If, if there is a caution, though, with five to go, then we might have ourselves a race to the finish. Everybody would be back on the lead lap, and they would race to the line and see who would get the championship four spot. Four laps to go. Well, Anthony then, I uh, guess he made the perfect move and got himself to the front, and now he's ahead by a half, by a second and a half. The 10 car has chosen to pit. Four laps to go. The 10 has pit. The 10 is pitting from second spot. Delello pitted. Three to go. And now we'll see if the 37 can hang on to the lead. Four cars chosen to pit. And we have only two laps to go. Now we'll see if the 37 can hold on on fuel. If he can, it's going to be a fight, a free for all. See if the 37 can hold on. He's going to save fuel. He's going to try to win this race outright. As we come to the white flag with one more lap to go. Oh, look at Kirker. Oh, wow. Kirker was right behind that 37. A lap car, but imagine if they got taken out on the last lap. Boy, wouldn't that be a surprise. Doesn't look like that's happening, though. He's, he's going to let the 8 go. And Anthony then comes off the final turn. Dominates and wins to get himself in the championship four at Zen Joltis, taking the checkers at North Wilkesboro. A disastrous race from start to finish. A very messy one, uh, especially when it came to the halfway point. But ultimately, though, Anthony then was a lucky one to get the win. And he'll be into the championship four. So a lucky break for Anthony then. He survives the um, wreck fest here at North Wilkesboro and gets himself into the championship four here at, at well, at North Wilkesboro. And he'll be in Zen Joltis competing for the championship. Boy, wouldn't that be a lot of fun. Anyway, here's the rest of the field that was all messed up at the very end, unfortunately. And I'm very sorry for that. <laughs> I hadn't anticipated it would be a mess like this. Hamill and Kirker were the only ones that finished on the lead lap. Wow. That's shocking. So anyway, hope you enjoyed North Wilkesboro, and we'll see you guys in our second race of round three. That'll be at Watkins Glen. So until then, we'll see you later.